Ebola virus disease has been spreading in four countries in West Africa during the last few months. In three of those countries it really is a severe outbreak. Perhaps the first country to be affected was Guinea and it's had some waves of infection uh, but now we're looking particularly at two other countries Liberia and Sierra Leone where the infection rates seem to be picking up. The representatives of the affected countries said to me bear in mind that the reaction to Ebola virus disease is having big economic and social consequences for our people. I was able to reassure them that from the very highest level in our United Nations system there is an absolute commitment to stick with these countries and to help them and their people to cope with the current outbreak of Ebola virus disease. What WHO and others have been doing is encouraging the two things to happen. Firstly is that the health sector is able to help diagnose people who are thought to have Ebola virus disease and then to enable them to have the proper treatment that they need. It is a challenge because the Ebola virus is infectious but if proper precautions are adopted then infection does not take place because what we know is that the virus moves from one person to another through body fluids uh, that means through, for example, vomit or feces or perhaps even saliva. And if you can protect yourself from contact with the body fluids of an infected person, you will not get infected. There is no justification for stopping people from traveling to countries that are currently affected by the Ebola disease outbreak. Recently there's been a lot of interest in experimental medicines that have been produced by certain laboratories for the possible treatment of Ebola virus disease. There's also been interest in the use of vaccines, some of which are under test. The World Health Organization recently brought together a number of different bodies to provide ethical guidance on how the access to these experimental treatments could be speeded up. People who are battling Ebola virus disease are courageous people. People who are supporting them are courageous people. This courage is extraordinary.